Hey everyone, Dave here. We got James who's not talking, and we got Crazy Dirk. And this is the prologue for day three, Feast of Hemlock Vale. Let's get to the table. <laughs> okay, we're at the table. Uh, prelude Dawn of the Final Day. Check your campaign log. If Dr. Marquez has a plan, proceed to intro one. We, I checked the log, she does. So after a few scant hours of sleep, you emerge from your room to find Dr. Marquez groggily sipping hot black coffee. You look like death, she says darkly. You tell her she looks the same, and she laughs emptingly. I had worse. Not much worse, but worse. Skip to intro three. After a quick breakfast, you emerge from the boarding house into an almost fairy tale atmosphere. Locals dancing in circles, singing little melodies, and reclining on quilts. Dozens of outsiders in everyday clothes mingle with the locals laughing. Fully aware of the danger ahead, you make preparations for one last survey. More survey assistance has arrived. Any player whose investigator was killed in the longest night, <laughs> hey, that's you, James. <laughs> may, <laughs> thought about it. may select a new investigator and upgrade their new deck to half the earned experience of their previous investigators roundup. So I'm a half wit. Yep. <laughs> so instead of a no wit. So mm -hmm. you built your new deck. So we got Leo now joining the joining the party. Yeah, he wandered in and said, "Oh, hey, <laughs> friends." Now he showed up with the uh, with the other. Civilians, I guess, or the other party revelers. Members. Revelers, yeah. All right, but here's where the fun thing is. Grab the bag. Oh no! Fatigue from the long night catches up to you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Draw tokens from the chaos bag at random until you have two non-symbol tokens. No, non-symbol dirt. There's one. No, that's a three. Well, that's one of the two. Okay, that's it. So replace those with the one lower. So we got a minus two and a minus four now. I yeah. wasn't in the longest night. Why am I fatigued? Because it's a group bag, I guess. I should be able to ignore those. If only. Uh, so I need... Him, There's the minus two. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. I don't know. What that is. There is no more minus fours. Really? Yeah. Um. Any component? Oh, if you're if you're unable to replace a token, repeat this process until like two chaos tokens have been replaced. Okay. Okay. So. So put the. So we can go to a so minus, minus four three. to a minus five. So the two and the three go back in now? Where well, I think well, the, the three the, goes back. The, the three, oh, the three stays out. Three stays out. Drawing. Oh, okay. I guess you put all the tokens back. That's fine. Well, here's the one and the three right here. Okay, well, so this minus one is replaced with the minus two. So. Yeah. Minus squid. Okay, so then... Another minus two. Another minus two. Well, we do two. have another... Okay. And there's the two minus ones. Oh my god, we may not have any minus ones left. Well, we can look. Oh, nope, there's at least one. Okay. But yeah, we've got multiple minus fours, so already. And three minus twos now? Yep. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Gather all the cards from the following counter set. The final day, day of the feast. Agents of Color, Residence, and The Veil. These sets are indicated by symbols. We've got the cards out. Build the Act and Agenda deck using All is Full of, of Love and Dawn of the Final Day. Remove each other Act and Agenda. So there's Act and Agenda. Put each location except for the Crossroads and, old, and the Old Mill into play on the Day Zero si the day side according to the map on page 6. Done that. Use the Crossroads and the Old Mill from this set, so the old mill and crossroads, so those are new ones. Um, oh, they're new, okay. Yeah, these are new versions. Um, gather the residents encounter set and check the campaign log. Remove each resident whose name was crossed off. 
So we did that. We lost. What? Simeon. Simeon. Bye bye, Simeon. Um, put Mother Rachel and Judith Park on the crossroads. Set each remaining card from the residence encounter set aside out of play. Set the agents of color encounter set aside out of play. Place Doom on agenda equal to the number of investigators. So that's three. So again, we have three turns. Uh, you're ready to begin. All right. So the agenda is all is full of love. The people of the Vale dance with an almost ma maniac energy. Righteous music and sweet perfume scents hang in the air. When you draw a weakness, cancel its revelation effect and discard it. So that's the same. Uh, the act is dawn of the final day. A beautiful sheen hangs over everything shimmering in the air around you. Objective, talk to the locals and prepare yourself for the feast. All right. Uh, and then, so for people who may not have seen the other preludes, shame on you. But uh, the goal is we basically have three turns. Viewer shaming. To go around and... And um, talk to residents. So there's a series of codex that we will read, when and they show up on the different um, agendas, or the different locations when you do something. And then sometimes our cards have it. The other thing we're going to do is whatever we end up with is kind of going to be our starting hand for day three, well, assuming that's parts the same yeah i mean it's been a little bit different but yeah okay <clears throat> and we have one clue on the board which i need for my flux stabilizer i have one trauma i have two okay and james does not have any trauma i am fresh i am like a ray of sunshine Awesome. All right. So you got the yeah. Most, we can tell by the look on his face. <laughs> you got the most. It's as sunshine as you get. You got the most powerful deck of since you have no trauma. Then. Okay. Oh wow, she's expensive. Um. All right. So well, I guess I can go ahead and start. Then I'm going to spend three to play Peter so that I've got an asset out in case I get to keep one. Um, and then. Let's head east. Okay. And what do we, what's the thing there? Uh, you can per peruse the school library as an action, or you can search your deck for a tome asset and draw it. Let's peruse the library. Okay, so that's Codex 15. Check Simeon Atwood's notes if the plan is done away. Well, <laughs> he is dead, Jim. Uh, so the plan is done away. Never mind. So it's otherwise. Uh, the schoolhouse is empty today. Several hand drawn pictures on the wall depict dozens of bright, many colored creatures. You may either draw a card or gain a resource. Uh, let's draw the card. Okay. So you moved and you triggered yep. a codex. What else do you want to do? I played a card. So this can't. Oh, you played a card. Okay, so this can't be repeated. So, all right. Well, I am going to work my way up there. So first, I'm going to play emergency cash, and then I'm going to spend four with my second action. I'll get Dr. Rosa Marquez out. And then I'm going third action. I'll move up here and work my way to get that clue. And that is my turn. All right, let's see. You can ask the locals about the veil, or you can one or two investigators in the. No, never mind. So we don't get the move action. Uh, I'll go up one and let's go ahead and read Codex 10. Codex 10. Codex. In the crossroads. <laughs> Check Simeon Halfwood's notes. <laughs> Man alive! We killed the wrong person. So otherwise, 
the, the crossroads thrown with activity. Mother Rachel watches the proceedings as the colorful ribbons are hung from the towering effigy. You may draw a card or gain a resource. Um, let me gain a resource, and then I'm going to go ahead and spend it to parlay with Judith. Judith? Because we're day three, right? Spend X resources where X is the current. Yeah, so you need to spend three. All right, I've spent my three. All right. Number seven. Judith Bark. Judith one. Something's off. Judith stares up at the sun, one hand on the holster of her gun. Above, a dark patch of sky flicks and then descends as a cloud of smoke dispersing a gaggle of tourists. Judith raises her gun and prepares to fire into the smoke. So it's apparently the smoke monster from Lost. Um, search to set aside Agents of Color encounter set for one copy of the Mismatic Shadow Enemy and spawn it at the crossroads. Oh, goody. You spawn an enemy. What was it called? Uh, Mismatic Shadow? Yeah, Mismatic Shadow. So it's a Loof Hunter... Uh, it's not night. Uh, cannot be damaged by spell, relic, science, or encounter cards. All right. I'll let you shoot it with a gun, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, check your campaign log. If Judith stood by you. I think she did, right? Well, Judith has no notes there. Oh. We have no notes on Judith at all. Um... And or the thing in the depths was defeated. I don't think we did that one either. Wasn't that the giant crab? Nope. That must have been a different scenario that we didn't do. And or Judas is at relationship level four or higher. She's currently two. No. All right. Skip to Judah three. All right. Apparently we didn't work on that on her relationship. The bodyguard fires blindly into the cloud. Shouts of alarm ring through the crossroads as tourists dive for cover. The rolling clouds flickered like a mirage. Son of a... Judith explains, thunderstruck. Discard one card at random from your hand. So apparently she shot a card out of your hand. She hit my dodge. Okay. Well, you dodged the bullet as she shot at you. Yeah. All right. I need a pin. It's in this box right here. should be in there okay um so we increase her relationship level so she's now a, th a three and more importantly we earn a bonus xp that we won't get to spend Probably not. <laughs> One. Okay. <laughs> and I have a, a sentient cloud loofing around. Right. And... Oh, he's Hunter at night. But he is elusive, so... He's got three hit points, though. Okay. Man, that's all my actions. All right. So, end of the round. That was all three of us. Um, enemies don't do anything because he's a loop. Buck and a card. Buck and a card. This goes up. All right. I think I will... I'll go first, I guess. Come down here. I will invest in a gate, or I can spend two actions to just get it. Where's that it's over there, Pony? There, okay. Um, well, I'm currently at plus zero. You know, I'll just spend the two actions to get the code. Uh, and I'll put it on the I'll put it on the flux stabilizer, which will flip it. And I will do my... Do your worst. Attacker one. Shuffle my attacker one in my deck. Okay. And then... 
after I, oh, I guess I'm plus one. I forgot I had a plus one because I hurt. But after I discover the last clue at my locations, uh, there's a codex that she does. Oh, there's no codex. Oh, bummer. They don't have that symbol on here. Nope. Is there, there, any, is there any Rada? No, it's just maybe didn't know that you know they didn't think you'd have her out in play. I guess maybe. So, yeah, all right, well, it's a reaction, so it's not an action for me to do codex anyway, so. Um, all right, well, that's my turn, then. I just got the last clue. Move you up. up. All right, as an action, oh. nope. Move, move up. up. Uh, an action, you inspect the communal hall and check out the local delivery service. Codex 16, if you read it. Sure, let's do it. Okay. Uh, are you delivering a package? Nope, nope. Okay, regardless. Got a gift for some for a special someone, Martha Jean slurs, staring. Why didn't you ask me to the dance last night? I would have said yes. An investigator may remove one earned item story asset from their deck, discard pile, or hand. If they do, choose a resident with a relationship level 2 or lower. Increase that resident's relationship level. Each investigator earns a bonus. Wait, I remove it from the game? Uh, from their deck from their yeah if you had an earned one did you earn one from a scenario it's the earned items like like when we did the rail card we never got that item yeah, I don't think I, do I don't think one. we have any items and like the, there's like a teddy bear or something I think too so. well I've got teddy bears but not the ones that <laughs> not the ones about. from the scenario yeah. the only earned item we have is your horse look I don't yeah I don't remember having one in my deck and this is an investigator. I don't think it's an item. I mean, I, I earned a, a weakness. <laughs> it's not an item. Out. It's an ally. Yeah, I don't have one. Okay, well. So, we don't get to increase the relationship, but we do get a bonus XP. Okay. You want to move on up? Yeah, I'm moving on up. Oop, this side. All right. That's my. I am going to move up. In action, you approach the overgrown chapel at the top of the hill, Codex 11. 11? The Hemlock ch Check, guess who? Seriously? Yes. So apparently we, we had the wrong person die. He's like in every one of these. Uh, otherwise, a throng of people stand watching a kind, uh, a kind of wedding ceremony in front of the chapel. The couple smile and begin to dance. Search the set aside residence encounter set for Gideon Morale and put him into play at the Hemlock Chapel. Acid side face up. Okay. So as a double action, you can parlay. Well, we don't have him in our group, but I mean he, yeah. he can Oh double action to parlay for the for the codex. codex yeah. Okay. Is that three? Uh, one action left. I'm gonna go ahead and use it to get out my knuckle duster. Okay. And I am done. All right. And I guess it's better than crop duster. That's everybody. I can do that as well. So this guy doesn't do anything. He's just kind of sitting there, which is kind of weird that we have an enemy and we're not doing anything with him. All right, we had to do him. Okay. Um, buckle card. Buckle card. Oh, yeah, we should have done that first. Do you have anything in your deck that can kill that critter? Uh, I have a curse. And I wonder if there's going to be something down the road that if he's in play next round. Oh, I need to. Yeah, this is the very last turn, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of. I'm going to go up there and get this codex. Oh, you're doing the Hemlock one? Or I was are you doing the Atwood? I was going to go to the Atwood. Oh, okay, okay. House. okay. Uh, you're in well, here. Well, go right? ahead and. Are uh, you in here? I'm up there. I'm at the chapel. Oh, you're chapel. up there. Well. You, I can do the one in the middle, I guess, because I'm going to have nowhere to go. So I'll go ahead. Uh, what's the ability thing up there? 
Oh, you haven't done this yet? Nope. I just moved up there. Uh, you hang over goods and chat with the locals as an action. Okay, let's do that. Codex 14. <laughs> Guess who? Really? Uh, all right. The general store is swamped with visitors buying flowers, wreaths, and bright quills as workers come and go. You may spend five resources to search your deck for an item card and play it, ignoring its cost. Any other investigator may trigger this codex again. I don't think that I'm going to do that. This is the last turn, so you would have, like, no money. Right. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do that. All right. That was one action. You're going to go down to the center, and then what can I do there? So you can... Well, you already talked to this one. So you can parlay. you got to test two will if you succeed Codex 1. Or you could spend X resources. Oh, that's the one that you already did. James already did that one. So you can do a, a will of two uh, to talk to Mother Rachel. All right. All right, so we'll make it, uh, so this is a minus one, this is a plus one, plus two, so I'm at a net plus, so I'm at a four, and what I'm at difficulty two. is two. All right, I'm at a plus two. And I have money, so that doesn't count. Skull is minus three, because we're at day three. Yep, Missed, I failed by one. Okay. But at least I got the curse out of my hand. <laughs> All right, and then I so that was dirt. So I'll move up, and I will approach. Oh, so I actually think this is the first time it's come up. So in case anybody asked, the uh, hemlock curse, which I think, well, Dave and I have one. James had one, but he doesn't have it anymore. Okay. Uh, Zoe had one. Oh, Zoe. Well, okay, Zoe. <laughs> so the skills I icon subtract from the skill value instead of adding it. If it fails, discard each card in my hand. Oh crap! I have no hand. Um, but at the end of my turn, the Hemlock Curse is in your hand. Discard a card at random from your hand. I don't want to carry that over into the next game, so I have no hand. All right, and I forgot to read. So Skull, which is what he drew, with minus X. X is the current day number. Cultus is plus one. If this is a parlay attempt, you automatically succeed. Tablet, minus two. If you have three, if you have fewer than three cards in hand, treat this token's modifier as a zero. And Squid is minus one. If this is a parlay attempt, reveal another token. All right, so my first action was to move up. My second action is to trigger Codex 13. Hey, Simeon's not listed here. Oh, this one doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, the Atwood House uh, dower facade sticks out like an ugly sore in the sea of bright flowers and garlands. Search the set-aside residence encounter set for Leah Atwood. Put her into play the Adwood House asset side face up. Okay. And my first action was move, second action was do that. So third action, I will do a parlay. Ooh, I gotta test strength though. If you succeed, codex two. Uh okay, well my strength is two. I will use the clue to give myself a plus two. That's the best I can do. I have no strength in my hand. So I'm at a plus two to parlay with her, showing her my super strong scientist muscles. Hey, I succeeded. Ooh, you impressed her with your uh, super big brain. With my big brain. Uh, so Codex 2. <laughs> Simeon Atwood. Oh, oh, if it's crossed out. Oh, hey, all right. Uh, if Simeon Atwood's name is crossed out. Leah sits on the front porch, head cradle in her hand. She looks up as you approach. Simeon was always talking about his secret order of miners, and he was, he was always talking about the mines. He said he'd been practicing for something, a journey to the center of the earth, or whatever nonsense he's been talking about while with that boy, Theo. Increase Leah Atwood's relationship level. Each investigator earns a bonus XP. Boop. Boop. 
Well, this one would happen if his name was crossed out, something else would happen. Oh, actually. <laughs> it would have been better if, if it was not crossed out. So, more XP, more relationship level. Yeah, we let the wrong person die. The one wrong person to die, apparently. All right. So that was my three actions. You better not get one that says if you have Simeon, you win the game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't I'm bother gonna... to continue. You, you've won the campaign. Don't bother to continue. Yeah. I'm going to do a double action and parlay with the old man. So Codex 6. Codex 6? You're going to parlay with yourself? Parlay with myself. Oh. Looking in the mirror. i got to look to see if Gideon stood by you. I don't, we haven't I don't think we've done much with him. I don't think him. we've done anything with him. No. Okay. Otherwise, Gideon sits at the Just back like of the sanctuary. All he, the wrong people. <laughs> Gideon sits at the back of the sanctuary, either praying or asleep. Rather than disturb him, you stop to admire several wooden spiral sculptures. Draw three cards. I Wait, those. I just realized. Does that weakness, does that have a revelation effect on it? No. Oh, it did not. Okay. No, it does not. It goes into your hand and you just, if you don't, if, if it's still in your hand at the end of the turn, you discard a card at random. But since I failed the skill test, I discarded all of them. Oh, but you discarded it. It says, when you, re when you draw a weakness, cancel its revelation effect, which doesn't have one, that's fine, and discard it. Oh, so I... And discarded. Oh, so I wouldn't have had to use it. So I would have actually passed that thing then. I don't remember what you were doing. I then. failed. I was talking to her. To her. Okay. So I would have passed that. Okay, so that would have and been I don't discard Codex 1. Codex 1. Alright. Okay. Uh, did you finish? Was that all your actions? I've got one action left. Okay, well let's resolve this Go real ahead. quick. Because this is, this is actually pretty long. Um... Mother Rachel won. A crowd of tourists and locals in white gold cloaks gather around the effigy in the center of Hemlock Vale. Mother Rachel stands in their midst, re regarding each and every one of them with an ex smile. Check the area survey section in your of your campaign log. If the box next to Southern Field is checked, yes, uh, proceed to Mother Rachel 2. Feeling bold, you cut through the crowd. The matron's eyes brim with tears when she sees you. Oh, my child, I prayed for your safe return. She takes your hand as the crowd disperses. It was not my place to interfere, although I was wracked with guilt. I am so thankful you are alive. You must decide. Choose one. Thank you for your prayers, or I see you for what you really are. We're going to thank her. Yes, thank her. Yeah, she's kind of been playing both sides. Well, this is, yeah, and actually, this Dirk's the one talking to her, but yeah. Okay, so uh, the matron smiles warmly. I hope you will stand by me at the feast tonight as a guest of honor. Before you can reply, you are pulled into the dancing circle around the effigy. In your campaign log, record the investigators learned their place. Thanks, Dirk. Learned um, or learned? Learned. You. Um, increase Mother Rachel's relationship level. Each investigator earns a bonus one. So we learned our place. But we're at 4 XP now, so there's that. Okay, and then your last action, James? I'm going to get a coin. Okay. Alright. And then we move to 6. Buckle card first. Yeah, buckle card first. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. So Doom pops. Um, check your campaign log. Birdie had an epiphany. He did. Um, you convene with Doctor Marquez at the boarding house. Birdie approaches you with a maniac gleam in his eyes, wearing the white gold cloak of the veil. I've decided to join the feast today for the whole day. I understand this may put my 
my grant in jeopardy but before dr marquez can chastise him the young man scampers off past a throng of dancers r2 page 54 so he has joined the cause he drank thing? the kool-aid he drank the kool-aid R2. Do oh, goody. Here we go. Dr. Marquez looks utterly exhausted as she hefts her pack into the back of Theo's blue truck. Today's the last day, she says. Let's make the most of it. Update your campaign log in Simeon Atwood's notes. <laughs> if there was at, le at least three tallies next to the plan. Nope. Um... In your campaign, okay, okay. Each investigator earns the bonus experience awarded during this prelude. Reveal each bonus experience earned unspent experience at your campaign log, but do not spend any of it, James, until the end of the next scenario. Make preparations for your final survey. Choose one asset in your play area to keep for the next scenario. I have one. <laughs> it must be one that does not normally start in play. Discard each other asset and attachment in your play area, except for those that start each game in play. So I... We'll keep Dr. Marquez. That's the only person I have. That's the only asset I have. I'm keeping Peter. That's all I've got. Uh, discard down to your opening si hand size, which one, two, three, okay. four, five, six. So I don't need two Dr. Milans. I will discard a second leather coat. Uh, shuffle those in, right? Shuffle your discard pile into your deck. Yeah, because I don't get the luck of getting rid of the curse. Nope. The current hand is your opening hand for the next scenario. You will not draw a new hand. Discard down to your starting resources, so I lose two. Oh. I thought I was I thought I was in trouble whenever I uh, because of the curse, but apparently having to discard the curse or whatever I turn up and I've got a full hand full everything, but with Peter. Okay, so now uh, check the area surveyed section in your campaign log and choose a scenario that has not been checked off. So, Pearl Ridge, is that on the list? Uh, Pearl Ridge is not on the list. Oh. Oh. The, oh, yeah, here it is. Pearl Ridge. The Silent Heath. Okay, so we have Pearl Ridge, the Silent Heath, or Eastwick Bogs, the Thing in the Depths. Oh, there it is now. Yeah, the thing in the depth. That was the thing that we, we were asking earlier if we'd done it yet. No, we haven't. Right. So I don't know if we want to bother. Um, and then the Twisted Hollow, which is the Western Woods, which I'm not seeing the Western Woods on here. So we got two choices. So, yeah. So apparently that, oh, yeah, that was the, the one that we could have done to save him from going nuts. So, yeah. So we have we can either do the Silent Heath, or we can do the thing in the depths. I don't know what the thing in the depths is. The silent so the silent heat says to explore the eerily quiet Pearl Ridge in the silent heat. Turn to page nineteen, or uh, the thing in the depths. So, which is to survey the the Eastwick Bog and risk an encounter with. So, just for people who haven't been following along the whole thing. This is campaign two, technically, because we aborted campaign one. So we know what And we Heath. did Silent Heath. Um, so I'm thinking just because we haven't done it, the thing in the depths. But. Johnny Depths? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds scary, but sure, why not? Okay. I mean, we might do the other one at night, anyways, though, so. Oh, yay, that other one's going to be fun at night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, yeah, the thing in the depths. All right, so that ends the prologue for day three. We will, uh, we're going to keep we our map in our scenario. Yeah. Or XP. Or we're going to be collapsing the map. We're going to end this video, and we will have a video for day three with our opening hand stuff, which we'll record immediately. But, <laughs> all right. So thank you for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Hey, if you like that, we got more videos. There should be one over there somewhere, one over there, and one down there, which is the subscribe button, I guess. <laughs> Thank you.